first time I actually went to the Greenland Ice Sheet. I went with the Danish crew up to the uh, spot in the southwestern ice sheet. We took some measurements. I buried some instruments in the snow. And that was just before the most record-breaking melt season that Greenland's had in recorded history. There was massive flooding in Greenland. Uh, there was extraordinary runoff. The instruments I'd buried got completely melted out and destroyed. It was such, happening on such wide scales that it, it was such a wake-up call as to how drastic the situation was getting. What's really worrying to me is by all predictions, that type of summer is going to be getting more common in Greenland. This, is, this won't be a rare occurrence, and it won't be very long before it isn't a rare occurrence anymore. It's big changes happening. It's happening faster there than it is nearly anywhere else on the planet. I wish I could just scream and let everybody know how big this is, uh, and we're trying the best we can. Climate change is important to me because it affects so much of what I do and what I love. Uh, it affects not just glaciers and ice sheets, but it affects the ecosystems, it affects fire regimes, it affects water resources, uh, and it affects everybody. It's a common misconception that small changes can't make a big difference. This idea that, well, this is such a huge thing and there's so many billions of people in the world, what is little individual decisions of mine going to matter? How, are the, how will those matter? And the reality is, is that we got into this situation from countless small individual decisions, and it's entirely possible to get out of it that way. Recently, what's giving me hope is the economics of the situation, our, our power sources, it's been long just assumed that that fossil fuels are the cheapest power out there and right now for instance solar is is becoming competitive with those the the investments we've made in research into those energies are starting to pay off as the price of solar continues to drop i think we have an enormous opportunity to make large shifts in the way we consume power uh, and, the, and the emissions we release into our atmosphere